Pramod Tiwadi has given a notice, and there are similar notices by his colleagues. As Parliament begins the second leg of the budget session, in this episode of Zero Hour, Trinamool Congress MP Derek O'Brien discusses breach of privilege motions and how they are being used right now. Basically, all MPs in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, they are guaranteed certain privileges or certain rights or certain freedom as a member. So, when you breach that, when you do something which is not beyond those rights, you can or may have a breach of privilege motion brought against you. Now, who brings the breach of privilege motion? Normally, MPs from a party opposed to you. So if somebody thinks a BJP MP has done something which is a breach of privilege, guaranteed somebody from the opposition will bring a breach of privilege. And if the opposition member seems to have done something where he's he or she has crossed the line, then the BJP MP will br bring a breach of privilege. Very few times does the chairperson or the speaker, the presiding officer, bring a breach of privilege. For example, of the 70 odd notices up now on the Rajya Sabha website, 67 are brought by other MPs and the rarest of the rare, when the chairman himself or herself brings a breach of privilege motion. So let me give you some real examples which are now in fact in the pot. Now the IT minister of the country a few weeks ago goes and discloses what transpired at a standing committee meeting. You're not supposed to do that, but the IT minister goes and says that, uh, obviously the BJP IT minister goes and says that this is what happened in the committee meeting on the data protection bill. When the IT minister did what was supposedly a bishop privilege, everyone was quiet. But now the MP, Mr. Rahul Gandhi went to uh, London and said something, now the M BJP MPs want to bring a breach of privilege. Or one lady MP from Rajya Sabha was recording uh, a video. She's got a breach of privilege. Some MPs in Rajya Sabha were given uh, a breach of privilege for repeating identical notices. Bizarre. Some, about a dozen MPs were given a breach of privilege for what? For uh, going into the well of the house. The point I'm trying to make in this column the CBI and ED is used against the opposition MPs only. In Parliament, the same thing is happening with breach of privilege motion. It's only being used against opposition MPs, not that. Why does the tactic of disrupting Parliament it can never be a breach of privilege, which is what is happening now. I'm not going to co uh, quote any former Trinamool MP or Congress MP or DMK MP or Shiv Sena MP. I'm going to quote two, which are done in the article, two legends of the BJP in Parliament. And true legends, Arun Jetli and Sushma Swaraj. Mr. Arun Jetli and Sushma Swaraj, both on record, on the floor of Parliament, they have said that Disrupting parliament is a leg legitimate parliamentary tactic. Now, some other MPs have got a breach of privilege for multiple notices. This is bizarre and I've explained in the column, a multiple notice is kindergarten parliament. If your notice doesn't come today, you'll put the same notice tomorrow. If there's an issue which I really want to push, 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 I will keep repeating the notices for the, that's my right. So you can't on a whim say, no, this is breach of privilege. So it's a very interesting piece. If you want to read the full article, click on the link below. This is Zero Hour. Every alternate Friday in the Indian Express, Zero Hour. Click on the description below to read the full article.